practice prepper. And uh, let's talk about this guy, the E-Tech City flashlight. This has a lot of cool features on it. And like I said, it was really inexpensive and I've had it for several years. Uh, one of the coolest things about this is that it has a charging port that you can use to charge other things from. So if you charge up the battery in this, you can use it to charge up your cell phone later. You, obviously you're draining power out of your flashlight. So, you know, that's a downside, but at least you have the choice to, you know, figure out, well, maybe I'd rather be able to make an emergency call versus, you know, use my flashlight right now. So that's kind of a cool feature. You can do that right out of the back and all of these just charge through a USB, uh, a USB connection. Uh, and this flashlight has a couple different settings. It has uh, a high setting and it has a medium setting and it has a strobe setting. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's all it's got. It also, uh, what is kind of neat, it has a lantern setting where you turn it on and then you pull this out and it just has this lantern which does general illumination. And that's pretty cool. And I've been really happy with this flashlight. I think the only downsides of this flashlight are two and they're pretty major actually. Let me turn that all off. The two downsides with this flashlight are number one, it's not super waterproof. As you can see, the, this back panel just flips right open, you know, just with kind of picking at it with my, my finger. And, you know, the USB electronics are right in there. So it's not the kind of thing that you are going to really want to be getting wet very much. Uh, that, that could lead to some issues. Um, you know, that said, it's like it's only $12.50, you know suck it up and just, you know, keep it dry. But it does have a pretty major issue. And I don't know if this is uh, endemic with a lot of lower cost flashlights like this. I said they're all using the same battery, the 18650 vaping battery. I, did, are 18650s used for anything outside vaping and flashlights? I don't know. Um, but uh, anyway, that's, that's kind of where you can get them at a vape shop. I, you, you know, the way I'm talking about this, you might think that I'm like a big vape guy. I'm not. I like watching other people do it in their cars because I think it looks ridiculous <laughs> when you're driving behind someone and they're billowing huge amounts of smoke. So I find it entertaining when I see other people do it, but I have no personal interest in it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Give us another one! Give us another one! Ah! But anyway, 18650 battery in here, but not really. It's got this weird one. The way that you charge it is, uh, well, the way you charge it is uh, through these ports in the back, but the way you replace the battery is opening up the back. You take it out and it doesn't even look like a regular 18650 battery. It's got like extra electrodes b back here. The, the contact springs in the back, there's like two sets of them. It's weird. When this battery dies, whatever the hell this is, I mean, it says 18650. It's, it's claiming that it's an 18650 battery, but when this dies, this flashlight's going to be junk because I, you know, it, it's not a normal battery. I don't, I don't know why they had to like come up with their own there, but they did. So anyway, kind of cool flashlight. I've had it for a number of years. Uh, and I think the major problem is just that, you know, it doesn't take a standard battery and that that's kind of lame actually. And of course, like on the website, when you're buying it, it doesn't say like, you know, special feature, we use a weird 18650 that you'll never be able to find anywhere um, because they also just call it an 18650. So there you go. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.